What if you could build a chatbot smarter than anything you've ever used? One that remembers, reasons, adapts, and sounds eerily human. Welcome to the future of conversation. Welcome to OpenAI's GPT-4 API, the powerful brain behind the world's most intelligent virtual agents. This isn't just about building a bot that answers questions. It's about creating interactive digital personalities capable of deep knowledge, emotional tone, and context retention across long conversations. And the best part? You don't need to be a coding wizard to bring it to life. Today, you'll learn how to create your own AI-powered chatbot using the OpenAI GPT-4 API, step-by-step, -step, from the core technology to hands-on deployment. If you've ever dreamed of designing your own virtual assistant, customer service agent, tutor, or storytelling companion, your moment starts now. The brain behind the chatbot, GPT-4 explained. Before we build, let's understand the mind of your chatbot. At its heart lies GPT-4, short for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 4, OpenAI's most advanced language model yet. It's trained on hundreds of billions of words, books, websites, code bases, and conversations. But it doesn't memorize. It learns patterns, reasoning, and semantics. Unlike its predecessor GPT-3.5, GPT-4 is significantly better at following complex instructions, handling nuanced reasoning, maintaining context over longer interactions, supporting multiple languages, and even handling multimodal input like text plus images depending on the endpoint. This allows your chatbot to sound more human, understand more deeply, and respond more accurately. Behind the scenes, GPT-4 uses a transformer neural network architecture, which breaks down input into tokens, analyzes relationships between them, and predicts the best output word by word. The result? Fluid, contextual, intelligent conversation generation that feels like magic. But here's the kicker. All of this power is accessible through a single API call. Getting started. Tools you need to build a chatbot. You don't need a massive server farm or a PhD to get started. Here's what you need to create your own GPT-4 chatbot. 1. Open AI API Key Sign up at platform.openai.com and generate your secret API key. This key gives you access to GPT-4 capabilities depending on your subscription level. 2. Basic Coding Environment Whether you're using Python, Node.js, or a no-code builder, you'll need a way to send HTTP requests and receive responses. Popular tools include Python with OpenAI Library, Postman for testing API endpoints, Replit, VS Code, or Jupyter Notebooks. 3. API Endpoint Access OpenAI offers different models from GPT 3.5 Turbo to GPT 4. Choose the one that fits your budget and use case. 4. A front end or interface. This is what users will interact with. Options include a simple web interface built with HTML-JS, a Telegram or Discord bot, integration into an existing app or CRM, even a command line interface. Now let's dive into how this all fits together, how it works, the Chat Completion API. Here's the simplest breakdown of how the GPT-4 API works when powering a chatbot. 1. You send a POST request to the chat slash completions endpoint. 2. You include your API key in the headers, a list of messages, like a chat history, in the body, the model you want to use, example, GPT-4. 3. The model reads the entire conversation and generates a thoughtful, context-aware reply. Let's look at an example in Python. Import OpenAI. The system role defines the personality or behavior of the bot. You could say, you are a sarcastic assistant who gives snarky responses. You are a medical bot that speaks in plain English. This flexibility allows you to shape tone, mood, and voice. Designing for memory. How to maintain context. One of the coolest parts of GPT-4 is its ability to maintain long conversations, but it won't remember things unless you feed them back. That's where the message history comes in. Every time the user says something, your app should. Store the conversation in a messages list. Send the full list back with each new prompt. Think of it like passing a transcript back to the model every time. This enables deep memory and fluid back and forth. But there's a limit. Even GPT-4 has a context window, currently up to 128K tokens, depending on model variant. 
That's about 300 pages of text. If you exceed this, older messages get trimmed or ignored. So design wisely. Summarize older messages if needed. Chunk data for long documents. Keep the dialogue lean. Now that we've armed ourselves with the tools, architecture, and core understanding of GPT-4, it's time to bring your chatbot to life. Let's get our hands dirty. Because in this part, we're not just theorizing, we're building. And by the end of this walkthrough, you'll have a working AI chatbot that can talk like a human, answer intelligently, and even live on a website, a messaging platform, or your own mobile app. So, how do we get there? Step 1. Designing the chatbot's purpose. Before you write a single line of code, ask yourself, what is your chatbot supposed to do? This is your use case definition, and it will guide everything, from the prompts, to personality, to logic. Ask. Will it answer questions or perform actions? Is it for entertainment, education, support, or sales? Will it be funny, formal, friendly, or futuristic? Example use cases. A mental wellness bot that checks in on your mood daily. A travel planner that gives visa info, currency rates, and activity ideas. A personal finance advisor that tracks expenses and recommends budgets. The clearer the purpose, the sharper the execution. Your chatbot needs to feel like it was born to solve that one problem. Step 2. Building the chat loop. Now, let's write the actual logic to capture user input. Send it to GPT-4 via the API and return a clean, conversational response. Let's walk through a minimal but powerful chatbot script in Python using OpenAI Flask and a simple front-end. This is the back-end of your chatbot. You can now connect this to a front-end UI, Telegram bot, or even voice input. And yes, you can make this more advanced by storing chat history, maintaining persona, adding fallback responses, injecting real-time data, weather, news, APIs. Step 3. Creating a front-end interface. Now your chatbot has a brain, but it needs a face. You can embed it into a web page using HTML slash CSS, a mobile app using React Native or Flutter, messaging platforms like WhatsApp or Telegram via bots, even smart speakers via voice SDKs. Let's keep it simple and use HTML plus JavaScript. You now have a complete chatbot that can speak, listen, and think, hosted locally or deployed via platforms like Render, Versal, or Heroku. Step 4. Making it smarter with memory. Want your chatbot to remember past chats, refer back to earlier topics, or adjust tone based on previous messages? Let's implement session-based memory using a messages list. This approach builds a living conversation, keeping the bot context aware and more realistic. You can also store this conversation to resume chats later, personalize future interactions, analyze sentiment, and improve UX. Step 5. Adding custom functionality. You can inject function calling logic using OpenAI's function calling feature GPT-4 will detect the intent, call the right function, and blend the results into its reply. You now have a chatbot that can execute commands, not just chat. Step 6. Real-world examples in action. Here are three real-world bots built on GPT-4 API and how you can do the same. 1. Career GPT. A job counselor bot that reads your resume and recommends careers, uses file uploads plus GPT analysis, built with Streamlit plus Flask. 2. Therapy Bot, a mental health companion with empathetic tone, journaling, and check-ins, uses daily memory plus emotional tagging, sends SMS reminders via Twilio. 3. Storycraft, an interactive story generator for kids, uses a system prompt. You are a magical storyteller, offers choices in each chapter, and creates illustrations with DAL-E API. Your project can be as light or as complex as you want. GPT-4 scales with your imagination. And when GPT-5 drops, just change the model name, and your bot becomes smarter overnight. That's the power of API-first AI development. Welcome to the future of interaction. With GPT-4, your chatbot isn't just smart, it's adaptive, dynamic, and personal. Now it's your turn to build something unforgettable. If this walkthrough helped, don't just scroll away. Subscribe to Tech AI Vision, where we break down complex tech into simple, buildable steps. What will you build with GPT-4 next? Because the best bots aren't born. They're coded, 